Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to make motion more natural using a Bezier curve. Uh, this challenge animates an element to replicate the movement of a ball being juggled. Huh. The prior challenges covered linear and ease out cubic Bezier curves. However, neither depicts the juggling movement accurately. You need to customize a Bezier curve for this. The animation timing function automatically loops at every frame rate when the animation iteration count is set to infinite. Since there is a keyframe rule set in the middle of the animation duration at 50%, it results in two identical animation progressions at an upward and downward movement of the ball. Hmm. The following cubic Bezier curve simulates a juggling movement. Okay, so they give you a cycle of, uh, th this is a function with, uh, it, with a, 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 a collection of float integers inside of it, which seems to uh, simulate a juggling motion. Notice that the value y2 is larger than one. Is that y2 isn't larger than one? So yeah, y2 is bigger than one. Although a cubic Bezier curve is mapped on a one by one coordinate system, and it can only accept x values from zero to one. And the y value can be set to the number larger than one. This results in a bouncing movement that is ideal for simulating juggling, simulating the juggling ball. Uh, change the value of the animation timing function of the element with the ID green. So the ID, remember, is the pound symbol ID is the pound, whereas uh, class is the period. So they want us to change the animation timing function to a cubic Bezier function. So they just want us to change these numbers in here to respectively to this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these into here um, and run the test. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, okay, so right now we've got the red going up chasing the blue, but meeting it each time, the green at the same time, starting really slowly. And then if we uh, repaste the new cycles in here, they have this uh, system. And then you run the test, or the test, and they pass. And that's excellent. Congratulations. You have completed the applied visual design uh, thing. If you're telling somebody to go through it, there's a good chance that you could just tell them to skip these last three ones because they don't make any sense. But the apply, a lot of the, this applied visual CSS is very, very useful. And uh, congratulations, you've succeeded. And I uh, hope that you found these videos useful. Look forward, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the next lesson.